go. Hi, welcome everybody. We're doing Daisy Space Science Badge today. And my name is Becky, so I welcome you. I work for Girl Scouts of Western Ohio. And I'm really excited to be here today. And today we're gonna to talk about the sun. We're gonna learn all about the sun. So while we're waiting for people to join, why don't you go ahead and type in what's your favorite thing to do in the sun? On a sunny day, what do you love to do? So go ahead and share with us. We'd love to know what you like to do on a sunny day. I live in Toledo, so today it's like 55 degrees and it's rainy and it rained yesterday and it's gonna rain all day today. So we're a little bit bummed out we don't have sun today. It's not gonna be a sunny day for us here in Toledo. But some of my favorite things to do in the sunshine, I love to go outside. I love to go to the park and go on a walk. And I love to play outside, like riding my bike or taking the dog for a walk. So I hope you're typing in fun things you like to do in the sun. I bet you some of you love to go swimming too. It's almost summer, which is exciting. So like I said, we're working on our Daisy Space Science badge today. And step one is what we're doing. And we're gonna learn about the sun. So we're gonna get started. So, have you ever heard of the words sunrise and sunset? So sunrise is when we talk about the sun's rising up in the morning, that's sunrise, and at nighttime sunset, we think the sun goes down at night. But, did you actually know that we live on the planet Earth and the Earth is round? So what is actually happening is our Earth is spinning around in a circle. So this is my globe, this is my, my Earth, and I put a B for Becky, That's this is where I live. So I'm pretending that you're the sun. So if I'm facing you and you're the sun, this is daytime. So if I turn my globe around, and this is nighttime for me. I'm in the back because I don't get any sunshine now, it's nighttime. So I'm gonna turn the globe around and there you are, you're my sunshine. So this is daytime. I'm gonna do it again. I'm going to turn it around. For me, I'm way in the back and it's dark back here. It's nighttime. So when this earth turns again, it's rotating around the earth. It is rotating. It's sunshine again. It's daytime. So we're going to practice this together. So you can stand up and shake your wiggles out. And we're going to pretend you're the earth. So you are the earth, and we're gonna pretend that your nose is right where you, you live on the earth. So uh, you're facing the computer, the computer's the sun, so it's daytime. So we're gonna turn around, go ahead and turn around, and now it's nighttime. And you keep turning and you're back to day. Let's do it again, hello daytime, let's make it night. We're turning around again, nighttime, and we're turning around again. And it's daytime. Good job, everybody. So I'm gonna let you keep doing that because I'm getting dizzy. So let's practice a few more times. Go ahead and stand up and you're at daytime. And turn around and you're at nighttime. And turn around and you're at daytime again. And one more time, you're gonna turn around for nighttime and turn back around for daytime. Okay, you getting dizzy? I hope you're having fun. That's called the sun dance. And so what we're gonna do next is, um, I, did you know, I'm just gonna let you know that, that the earth turns around 365 times. We only turned around about 10 times and I was getting dizzy, but the earth turns around 365 days and that makes 365 days a year to get around the sun. So there's 365 days in one year. So that's pretty cool. So our next thing that we're gonna learn about the sun is you know you can't look at the sun, right? So never look at the sun, it's very dangerous. And do you know why? Type in some reasons why. What would happen if we looked at the sun? I wonder what would happen. So if you're typing in that your eyes would hurt, you're right, you, your eyes would burn and you could go blind. I mean, it's very dangerous to look at the sun. So never look directly at the sun. But then, how do scientists study the sun if we're not even allowed to look at it? Hmm, how do we study the sun if we can't even look at it? And that's a really good question. So scientists have a tool that they use and today we're gonna make a tool too. And it's called a pinhole projector. So 
Um, what you need is two pieces of paper. So I have my paper here and you need some kind of pencil to poke a hole and that's what you need. And so I'm going to show you how to do it and you're going to need your adult's help to make this hole. And then once we're done, um, if it's a sunny day, you can go outside with your adult or if not, you can use a flashlight. And since it's for me, it's a rainy day, I'm going to use my flashlight today. So what we're going to do is take your first piece of paper and your adult can punch a hole in it and you can put your hole anywhere you want to. I'm just going to put mine up towards the top. So I'm just going to poke a hole here with my pencil. And you can see I made a hole with my pencil. Easy as that. Then what you're going to do is you're going to turn your back to the sunshine. So if you're my sunshine, I'm turning my back to you. I'm going to catch your sun rays on my piece of paper. Your sun rays are going to go through my hole and I'm going to catch the image of the sun on this paper. So again, I'm standing with my back to the sun. I'm going to catch your sun rays in this hole and the sun's going to come through and it's going to land on this paper and I'm going to have a, an image of the sun that I can look at. So we're going to pretend that my flashlight is the sunshine. So I'm turning on my sunshine and I'm catching it in my hole and it goes right through onto that piece of paper. And you can see I have an image of my flashlight, my sunshine, on my paper, on the bottom paper. And I'm going to move my paper around. I can see different parts of my sun. And I'm hoping you can see the sunshine right on the paper. Good. So this is how you can safely look at the sun. And if the sun was farther away, you can see my little image here on my paper is getting smaller. So this is how you can safely look at the sun and study the sun. And that's exactly what scientists do. So congratulations, you are a sun scientist today, which was a lot of fun. Uh, so remember, don't look directly at the sun, but poke your hole in your paper, catch the sunshine, and look at your sunshine on this paper. And then you can study it. So that was fun to catch the sun today. Um, another fun thing to do with the sun is to um, catch your shadow. I don't know if you've ever done that before, but you can trace your shadow with chalk or on a piece of paper. And then when the sun moves during the day, you'll see that your shadow moves. So you can talk to your adult about why do shadows move across when the sun moves. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you enjoyed this today, you can um, check out Girls uh, GSWO, which is our website. We already completed step one, which is learn about the moon. Today we're learning about the sun. And your step three is going to be to learn about stars. So we hope you had fun today learning about the sun. And if you'd like to join or learn more about Girl Scouts, go to girlscouts.org. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.